Hello everyone. I am Lakshmi Siya, Music Signal Processing Researcher under the supervision of Dr. Rajiv Rajan at APJ Abdul Kalam Technological University, Kerala, India. My work focuses on predominant music instrument recognition in polyphonic music. Today, in this presentation, I will explain my work, Attention-Based Predominant Instrument Recognition in Polyphonic Music. This is the brief overview of my presentation. The main aim of my work is to recognize predominant instruments in polyphonic environment using multi-head attention convolutional neural networks. Music information retrieval is a very fast growing field of research with loads of real life applications. Among them, the predominant instrument recognition is a highly challenging one. A human can easily identify what instruments are used in a music, but it is still a difficult task for a computer to automatically recognize them. Predominant instruments recognition refers to the problem where the prominent instrument is identified from a mixture of instruments being played together. Before going to that, what do you mean by monophony and polyphony? Monophony means single melody on an instrument and in a polyphonic environment, a number of instruments are played together. Most of the research work involves the instrument recognition in monophonic music and our research differs from them by the predominant instrument recognition in polyphonic music. This is because music in real world is polyphonic and the extraction of information from polyphonic music is a highly challenging task. The main motivation behind this is intelligent search of music, audio enhancement, source separation and genre classification. The main challenges are first one is polyphonicity. In polyphonic music, the interference of simultaneously occurring sounds make instrument recognition harder. Also, the music instruments are played at various loudness and pitches make the recognition even more harder. Next is data set. Training data plays a critical role in deep learning. Getting a large data set is one of the reliable ways to improve the performance of deep learning algorithm. Next is predominant instrument recognition till now. Analysis of the literature reveals that mostly the researchers ignore the face information and consider only the magnitude information. This is because of the difficulty in interpreting the face information. Next, moving to a proposed method, it is conducted mainly in two phases, front-end feature extraction and back-end classification. For feature extraction, both the magnitude and face information are considered. We are introducing face-based modigram along with magnitude-based spectrogram and later followed by the fusion of spectrogram and modigram. In addition to this, music texture features like spectral centroid, spectral roll-off, spectral bandwidth, root mean square energy, chroma SGFT, and 13 mel frequency sexual coefficients are extracted and given to a deep neural network for classification. This is used as a performance comparison for the proposed task. At the back-end classification, we used convolutional neural networks with multi-head attention for classification and a generative adversarial network for data augmentation. IRMA's dataset is selected for the proposed task. It has separate training and testing data with 11 instruments. The training data is of fixed length and is single labeled. On the other hand, the testing data is of variable length and is multi-labeled. Next, moving to the Mojigram generation steps. Mojigram is the face-based information and is obtained by stacking modified group delay functions of consecutive frames successively. Group delay function is defined as the negative derivative of unwrapped Fourier transform phase. The square term in the denominator of the equation 2 makes the group delay function noisy. Therefore, the modified duplicate functions are obtained by replacing the denominator with a sexually smooth version S e raised to j omega. The two parameters, alpha and gamma, are introduced to control the dynamic range of mod GD. For the proposed method, we choose alpha is 0.9 and gamma equal to 0.5. Figure represents the MEL spectrogram and mod GD gram of an audio file with acoustic guitar as a leading instrument. The MEL spectrogram and modigrams are plotted with the following specifications. Next, moving to the 
adversarial audio synthesis. Wavegain V2 is used as a data augmentation for the proposed task. It is a flattened DC GAN architecture with the same number of parameters and numerical operations as that of the DC GAN. It is trained using Vesatian GAN with gearing penalty. The output dimension of the Wavegain V2 is 65,536 samples corresponding to 4.01 seconds of audio at 16 kilohertz. A perception test is conducted with 10 listeners to assess the quality of generated files. A mean opinion score of 3.64 is obtained. Figure given below is for qualitative analysis. The figure represents the MEL spectrogram and mojirigram of real and generated audio file with acoustic guitar as the leading instrument. Next, moving to our fusion framework. The fusion of multiple modalities can offer significant performance improvement over using a single modality, which motivated us to perform the fusion work. During testing, the probability value at the output nodes of the trained model is considered as the score in this experiment. Figure represents the test accuracy for various values of beta. Since beta equal to 0.5 reports the highest value, we choose beta equal to 0.5 for our proposed task. Next, moving to multi-head attention, where we need multi-head attention. The visual processing system of human beings and animals tend to focus selectively on some parts of image rather than considering the entire image for perception. Multi-head attention mechanism focuses on specific region of our MEL spectrogram and mojirigram and helps to recognize the predominant instruments with very less trainable parameters. The model summary of our proposed CNN with multi-head attention is given in the table. After three convolution layers, multi-head attention is employed. We use eight attention heads in our proposed method. Adam is used as the optimizer with categorical cross entropy loss function. The performance of the proposed method is compared with that of the state-of-the-art hand model and a musical texture feature DNN framework. We use the metric precision, record, and F1 score for performance evaluation. Table below represents a comparison with the state-of-the-art hand model. Hand employed a deep CNN for predominant instrument recognition using MEL spectrogram inputs and sliding window and aggregation analysis for the proposed task. As compared to hand, we are not using sliding window and aggregation analysis. We just took the MEL spectrogram and mojirigram of the audio file irrespective of its length and given to the classifier for classification. Also, face information are considered along with the magnitude information. Softmax is used as the output activation function. Also, we employed a data augmentation using WaveGAN. Next, moving to result and analysis. Table represents the overall performance of all the experiments with data augmentation. Micro F1 and macro F1 are 20.37 and 27.66 percentage higher than the state-of-the-art hand model. This reveals the importance of face information along with magnitude information. The effect of data augmentation and attention can be revealed from the table below. Train D represents the training files available in the corpus and train G represents the training files generated by the WaveGAN. The table represents the performance comparison for IRMAS dataset. Our fusion technique outperforms the existing algorithms for the proposed task. That's all. Experiment details and few audio files can be accessed from this site. These are my references. And thank you.